This is Procurement Weekly, brought to you by GovPurchase.com, the nation's premier tool for federal, state, and local contracting. Procurement Weekly keeps you abreast of the latest upcoming contract opportunities, bids, pre-solicitations, RFIs, sources sought, online government events, bid updates, success stories, procurement interviews, and much more. And now, with this week's show, here's your host, Kim Harwell. Welcome to this week's episode of Procurement Weekly. Procurement Weekly is becoming one of the hottest shows online as we're well over 10,000 viewers per week. And I'd like to thank you all out there for your support and thank our sponsors, thank the government agencies and all of the companies that make this possible. As you've known from the beginning, Procurement Weekly was originally and still is about contracts now. Our goal still is to help all businesses stay in business and survive and even thrive during these times and now as times begin to change and many of us begin to go back out go back to our offices to our workplaces we will continue to deliver the hottest opportunities to you every single week because remember there's more business than ever being done right now and guess what it's all online we will bring you the hottest federal, state, and local prime contracting, subcontracting, teaming, and commercial business opportunities. And this week it will be in the following areas by popular demand. Accounting, landscaping, construction, 8A construction to be exact, and then web development. Yeah, two new categories. And then we'll finish, as always, with success stories. Who's winning? Where is the money? Who's awarding? And how do you win some of that business or more of that business? So again, speaking of business, let's get down to business. In our first section, we'll cover accounting. There's always billions of dollars being spent in accounting, CPA as well as non-CPA accounting. The federal government as well as state and local governments have to spend billions in this area. So we had lots of the bean counters out there contacting us, wanting us to feature some accounting opportunities. And the cool part about most of these is that no matter where you are in the country, a lot of the accounting is done in the cloud now. And then there's some massive opportunities for you that staff as well to provide people. So now, let's take a look at some of the hottest, latest accounting opportunities. This first one is from NATO. And it's through the Department of Commerce. And there's still time, of course. And the Supreme Headquarters, Allied Powers Europe, intends to issue an invitation for international competitive bid for the provision of international public sector accounting standards training for NATO personnel. So this is great. If this is something that you qualify for, it's in your capabilities. Here's all the information. And again, of course, you can always contact us here at info at govpurchase.com. On to the next one. And here's one from the state of Hawaii. Let's take a look at this. Now, you know, for the state and local uh, there are thousands of these, and we, we access all 50 states and over 9,000 cities and counties. So, state of Hawaii, just show you how to navigate this one. So, there's one accounting and general services, Oahu, that's not the one we want. We want this second one, and this is a notice to certify public accountants interested in providing audit and accounting services to the University of Hawaii. And you have until June 30th in order to respond. And again, you can try to go to hawaii.gov and locate this opportunity, see if you can get access to the portal, or contact us at info 
at govpurchase.com, and we'll help you. On with the show. Let's see, this next one is from Prince George's County, Maryland, in our neck of the woods here. And this is basically a proposal to provide flex spending account COBRA services. So this is pretty straightforward, and you have until the end of the month, again, in order to respond to this one. So for you that provide COBRA, this is a pretty good opportunity, uh, as you can see. And that concludes our accounting section. Now, here's a section we usually would have covered earlier in the year, but because of everything that's been going on, landscaping in certain cases have been put on hold. Certain projects that probably would have launched in late March, early to mid-April are just launching now, and that's why we're doing this landscaping section. We have heard from many landscape and design companies about, well, what's happening in landscape? Bring us up to date. So now we're going to bring you some of the latest landscaping opportunities, federal, state, and local. Now for landscaping opportunities. And it's not too late. So let's take a look at this second one here from the Department of Veteran Affairs. This is down in Florida, and this is actually a pretty good opportunity, 7.5 million. And of course, there's still time on this. So you can kind of read through this. But as you can see, landscape services, 7.5 million. Of course, you should be registered in SAM. And I know you're all registered in SAM.gov. And for tiered purposes, so they'll consider service disabled, veteran owned small businesses and veteran owned small businesses first if you're CVE certified. So that's something you can check into. And this is located in Florida. At 10,000 Bay Pines Boulevard, Bay Pines, Florida, in the parking lot directly in front of building 100. And then you can see all the details, scope of work here. And again, there's still time not a lot, but there is still time. So that's a good landscaping opportunity. Let's take a look at another one here. Here's one from the state of Louisiana. And all I'll say about this one is contact us here at info at govpurchase.com or you can try to locate it on your own. But as you can see, this is basically a 41 page RFP for landscaping services in Jefferson Parish. Another good one. You can get your hands on it. Now here's a design opportunity from the Department of uh, Interior U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Not a bad opportunity. Still time left. It is a total small business set aside. And this one is out of um, Massachusetts. And you can feel free to go and take a look at that one. There's your contact person. And of course, you can always contact us as well. Some pretty good landscaping opportunities. Let's take a look at this one from the state of Connecticut. Pretty straightforward. Still plenty of time. Invitation to bid. There's the location. Norwich, Connecticut. Contact information. And then there's a link to the documents there. So state of Connecticut, city of Norwich has a great landscaping opportunity available right now. And next, let's see. Let's take a look at this one from North Carolina, state of North Carolina. Now, this is a six page RFP. It's from Charlotte. Mecklenburg. See all the information here. You basically just kind of go through the document and fill this out. And it's just kind of interesting what they're looking for. They're looking for 
36,000 bales of pine straw. So, hey, if you provide pine straw, there you go. There's something at Procurement Weekly for everyone. And so let's look at this one from uh, State of Oklahoma. Complete landscaping, shrubs and everything. State and local, as you know by now, these sometimes take a few minutes to load or a few seconds, I should say. And there it is, right on time. Have until the 1st of February. And then you can go into State of Oklahoma and take a look at that one. Or again, always contact us at info at govpurchase.com. Now, here's another one from the state of Oklahoma, and this is from a different site. And there's the janitorial, and there's the landscape right there. And you have until 622. So, still a little time left on that one. All right. And now here's one from Virginia State Pol Police. Okay, and sometimes you have to search for these. So you're learning about some of these state and local sites. And sometimes you have to be precise with the keywords. And there's one from the city of Chesapeake. And I wasn't looking for that one, but we found one. Found another one here. All right. So, that state police baby kind of escapes us at the moment, but that's okay because we found one from the city of Chesapeake. And the interesting thing is, you know, when you're searching uh, these dynamic sites, it can be intuitive in that you will find opportunities that you were not originally looking for. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And then one more here from the Department of Army. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is uh, a sources sought. And it's for landscaping services in, in San Francisco. 7.5 million. Okay, San Francisco Bay. It gives you all of the different, uh, all the details here, the weeding filling of the stockpiles, etc. The amount of acreage. This is a source is sought, meaning they are seeking particular types of companies. And they'd like you to be either a small business, 8A hub zone, veteran owned, woman owned, or service disabled, veteran owned. And that was our landscaping. I'd like to give a special thanks to all of our great sponsors who've been with us from the beginning and our new sponsor, United States Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Bosch, the world's largest manufacturer of electrical components. Bose, the world's largest manufacturer of speakers. The Department of Defense, the Department of Justice, the Association of Government Contractors, that's my organization. That's Group, GovConnect, the National Business League, Weatherhaven, Page Global, North Carolina State University, Rickman Enterprise Group, Army Property, Hutchison, the Run Flat Company, Dow Corning, Mid Tier Advocacy Group, the RFP Success Company, the Department of Veteran Affairs, Playbook Investors Network, Choice Cyber, SAIC, and again, our newest sponsor, the United States Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And to become a sponsor or subscribe to our daily newsletter, or if you would like to report a success story, please email us at info at govpurchase.com. Govpurchase.com, the nation's premier tool for federal, state, and local contracting, proudly presents the new television show, Procurement Weekly. 
Procurement Weekly is all about contracts now. What contracts are available? Who do you contact? Who is winning these contracts? We spotlight the agencies and companies that are awarding these contracts, and we tell you who the contact person is who awarded that contract. Procurement Weekly, featuring success stories by telling you who the winners are. And these times, staying up to date is vitally important. And Procurement Weekly will keep you abreast of the latest upcoming contract opportunities. So now, be sure to watch this week's episode of Procurement Weekly with your host, Kim Harwell. This Sunday at 1 p.m. on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. In our next section, we'd like to feature another new category, and that's construction, specifically 8A construction. Now, you'll notice that these are larger contracts, sometimes up, upwards to $50 million, and there are many, many 8A small businesses that can handle that type of business. So this is another one that's by popular demand. So now let's take a look at some of these hot 8A construction contracts. Now for our 8A construction section. This is a new category for us. Let's see what we have. So let's look at this first one from the Department of the Air Force. All right. And it's a multiple award pre-solicitation. Still time to reply. And it's for the 11th Contracting Squadron Joint Base at Andrews, Andrews Air Force Base. And they intend to issue an RFP for a multiple award construction contract to provide a broad range of sustainment, repair, restoration, and modernization projects affecting real property at Joint Base Andrews. Joint Base Andrews at Acostia Bowling, which is not too far from here. And then you can see all of the details. And of course, it is an 8A set aside per our uh, previous notice. It's a base one year plus six one year options. All right. So let's take a look at this second one. And this one is from the Army. You have about a month left to apply, re reply to this. Single task award, a SATOC. It's a part of an IDIQ, but you can still participate. Two base years, three option years. Overall maximum value of forty nine million five hundred thousand and it will primarily support Nellis and Kretsch Air Force Base in Nevada. And as you can see it's to perform a variety of major and minor repair modifications and new construction projects. Design build, etc. All right. And then let's take a look at one more here. Another one from the Army. IDIQ. Indefinite date, indefinite quantity. And this is from U.S. Army Corps of Engineer in Jacksonville. You have until July 7th. This is a pre-solicitation. Another 8A set-aside. All of these are 8A set-asides. And then you can see the description of work. Various types of construction, but not limited to new builds, demolition, renovation, and repairs related to predominantly civil works projects. So, and then it goes on and on and on. So quite a bit of scope here. And again, this is an 8A set aside. The maximum will be $25 million. And that was our 8A construction section. In our next section, we have another new category. That's right, not PPE this week, as that market has pretty much stabilized. 
But now let's take a look at some web development opportunities. Web development, federal, state, and local opportunities. Why are we doing web development? Because we receive so many requests for this. So let's take a look at some web development opportunities. In our last section, something else a little different. Web development or websites. That's the key word that we use. This first one is from DOE, Department of Energy, Sandia National Laboratories. We've done lots of work with uh, the good folks out at Sandia National Labs. And so you can go down the line here. It's a special notice. Response date is the end of the month. And it's a monthly broadcast. And basically, um, you know, it talks about a little bit about Sandia here. And basically, they want you to go to their website to take a look at all of their opportunities, including the uh, web opportunity. So let's take a look at this one from uh, actually this one from the state of Utah. And again, as you know, if you've been viewing the show, you know that you have to navigate the state and local sites. And here's an RFP for website services, again, from the state of Utah. So you have information there. And of course, you can contact us here at info at govpurchase.com. And that was a short section, but that was our website section. Something new. Before we get to the final section, the awards, the winners, I'd like to again thank our sponsors. Bosch, Bulls, the Department of Defense, the Department of Justice, the Association of Government Contractors, Vets Group, GovConnect, the National Business League, Weatherhaven, Page Global, North Carolina State University, Rickman Enterprise Group, Army Property, Hutchison, Dow Corning, Mid-Tier Advocacy Group, the RFP Success Company, Department of Veteran Affairs, Playbook Investors Network, Choice Cybersecurity, SAIC, and our latest sponsor, the United States Veterans Chamber of Commerce. And again, to become a sponsor or to subscribe to our daily newsletter, or if you have a success story to report, please email us at info at govpurchase.com. And now, the grand finale. Who's winning? Who's awarding? What are the dollar amounts? What's happening out there? What are the patterns? What is the market intelligence? How can you get involved? Who are some of the people awarding the contracts? What's their contact information? And what's the best way to reach out? And we'll also give you a little tip. How do you find out more about what's coming up before it's published? So now, let's delve into the awards, the patterns, the winners. Now for some winners. And our first section was account. So let's just log into our trusted tool here. And by the way, if you are interested in having this tool for yourself, it is available. Just email us at info at govpurchase.com. And it comes with complete training and support. The purpose of the show is not to sell the tool, but we had lots of inquiries. So let's use the accounting next code 541219. And then let's mix it up a little bit, sort by total. Okay, there you go. And some of the large and mid-tier companies here at the top, Research Triangle Institute, Westat, Grant Thornton, Clifton, Deloitte, BAE. Then we have better federal management systems. And federal management systems, for the record, is located on K Street in Washington, D.C., and let's say you wanted to know more about them. They've been in business since 1990. Different contact people there. And also you can see their for-profit, veteran-owned, LLC, black American-owned company. And they graduated from the 8A program way back in 2001. But they're still doing bang-up business. So congratulations to federal management systems. And here's another one, TFC Consulting. So let's take a look at TFC Consulting. 
and we'll just keep it simple here. They're located in Rockville, Maryland. So congratulations to TFC Consulting. And here's another small business opportunity with GSA, Miracle Systems, LLC. And then here's another one, the Information Technology Coalition, and that came from Department of Justice. So congratulations to all of these accounting companies that have won contracts. Wichita Tribal Enterprises, and that one came out of NASA. And here's the person at NASA who awarded that contract. So congratulations to all of our accounting companies who have won. Now let's take a look at our second category, which was janitorial. No, landscaping, sorry. And for that, we will use the landscaping mix code, which, by the way, is very close to the janitorial mix code, 561730. All right. And again, let's sort by total. Mix it up a little here. All right. And then you have some interesting companies here at the top. Here's a company called American Lady Vet Services, a $1.7 million uh, contract with the Department of Veteran Affairs. Congratulations to American Lady Vet Services, located in Moreno Valley, California. And here's a company that does pretty well. They have the VA contract, and here's some of their other contracts. Congratulations again, American Lady Vet Services. And just for the record, on a contract like this, you usually have a team. And this is the team at Quantico who's responsible for that contract. Contracting officers, course, COTAR specialists, etc. Let's look at another landscaping contract. You have a couple of joint ventures here, which is interesting. It's, it's usually a small, large uh, teaming venture. Let's just take a look. Okay. Sometimes there'll be a DBA here that will tell you who the other company is, but in this case, this is just the joint venture. They're out of Hampton, Virginia, and they really just combine for this uh, $1.9 million grounds maintenance opportunity, and they're 8A certified. So congratulations to the joint ventures and teaming and joint venture agreements are highly recommended. You know, it's a process. Make sure teaming is about timing. And here are some of the, this is the team of buyers who are responsible for that contract. So let's take a look at a few more landscaping. So here's one that's a hub zone sole source. So this company, HCI Management Service, is a... Uh, Hub Zone certified, and it was a sole source, meaning they didn't have to bid, and they're located in Winnebago, Nebraska, which is obviously a Hub Zone. So congratulations to HIC, and let's look at let's take a look at a couple more here. All right, here's an 8A sole source. So again, this company did not have to bid on this, and this is SIB General Contractors. And some companies are very good at winning uh, sole source contracts, either usually 8A, sometimes hub zone, or even service stable better known. And they're located in Mount Holly, North Carolina. And as you can see, they've done quite a bit of sole source business. They're very active. Congratulations to SIB general contractors. Now let's take a look at our construction category. And for construction, we will use NAICS code, let's see, 236220. And let's mix it up a little. Let's do 8A. No, let's do small business. How about that? <laughs> All right. Okay, so scratch that part. Put the NAICS code in the wrong place. All right. Okay, so let's try NAICS code 
three, six, two, two, zero. And let's sort by small business and see what we come up with. So here are your uh, construction small business set asides and just for fun, let's sort by total and there you go. So you have a huge $36 million small business uh, construction venture, Department of State. It was a parking structure in Charleston, South Carolina. And here's a $10 million with low mountain construction for clinic and quarters. And low mountain construction, for the record, is located in Phoenix, Arizona. So congratulations to low mountain construction. And let's see who awarded that contract. Here's the team that awarded that contract. If you're going after future business, you definitely need contact information. And here's a great one from Kingsbury uh, Company. Replace Underground Utilities, White River Junction, VA, Department of Veteran Affairs. Kingsbury Companies is located in Waitsville, Vermont. So congratulations to Kingsbury Companies. And big team on this one from Department of Veteran Affairs. And there are some of your top contact people right there. All right, let's look at a couple more here. Dawson Federal, Flight Line Access, Control and Security. And Dawson Federal is located in Panama City, Florida. And this came out of the Navy. And there's the team out of Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, moving right along here. Overall Contractors Corporation, nice one for $3 million. Talion Construction, very nice one here for $3 million. Clinic build out in Sacramento, California, Department of Homeland Security, and so forth. So as you can see, small businesses are doing very well in, in the category of construction. Congratulations to all of our winners. And now for our last category, we decided to do something a little different. This one's a little smaller and it can be all over the place. So we'll use the term web development for this one. And again, we had requests for this. This is why we're featuring it. And now here's the top one here, 1.4 million, Department of Treasury, a company called Excella. Congratulations, Excella. And Excella is located in Arlington, Virginia. So congratulations, Excella. And that was a small business opportunity, a uh, small business set aside. And then if you want to know more, Excel has been in business since 2001. You have contact people for teaming purposes. And they are a for-profit subchapter S corporation. So again, congratulations to Excel. And then here's another one, a cloud, a uh, uh, web, uh, Amazon Web Services opportunity, the JHC Technologies one, and JHC Technologies is located in Oxon Hill, Maryland. So congratulations to JHC Technology. A few more web development opportunities here. Fearless Solutions, I like that name. And they're located in Baltimore, Maryland. And if you wanted to reach out to them, you have contact information. They've been in business since 2009. Plenty of contact information here. They are 8A certified also. You can see all of their business types right here. So congratulations to Fearless. And that was uh, work they did with the SBA. And here are the people at the SBA who helped them uh, win that contract. So congratulations again to Fearless. And how about we take a look at one more web development. Here's one, Magnum Multimedia. Let's, let's see where they're located. And they're located in Herndon, Virginia. 
So congratulations to Magnum Multimedia. And those are our web development winners. Now let's say you're in janitorial. This is bonus. And you want to go after future business. So let's look at some expiring janitorial contracts for 2020. Five six one seven three zero. So let's look at some expiring. So let's say you wanted to go after some landscaping contracts, future landscaping contracts. Let's look at some expiring landscaping contracts. Five six one seven three zero. And you could pipeline up to five years in advance, but Let's take a look at what's expiring this year. And there you have it. So let's sort by, uh, let's just leave it here on the dollar amount because it's sorted by estimated completion date. So you can see the low hanging fruit, the contracts that are expiring pretty soon. And then as you go further down, you can see the chronology here. And then if you go to the next page, because there's plenty of business coming up, you can see business now that's expiring in September. And let's do one more page. And the point is, look at how much business expires on September 3rd. Biggest spending day in the government, September 3rd. Look at that. So if you want end of fiscal year business, this is where you need to look. The month of September, basically. It's already June. And this is where you can capture some low-hanging fruit. If you want more information on this, feel free to reach out to us at info at govpurchase.com. Go to our website, fill out a form. We'll be happy to help you. Those were the winners. GovPurchase.com, the nation's premier tool for federal, state, and local contracting, proudly presents the new television show, Procurement Weekly. Procurement Weekly is all about contracts now. What contracts are available? Who do you contact? Who is winning these contracts? We spotlight the agencies and companies that are awarding these contracts, and we tell you who the contact person is who awarded that contract. Procurement Weekly, featuring success stories by telling you who the winners are. In these times, staying up to date is vitally important, and Procurement Weekly will keep you abreast of the latest upcoming contract opportunities. So now, be sure to watch this week's episode of Procurement Weekly with your host, Kim Harwell. This Sunday at 1 p.m. on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel.